when all of the chemicals in the reaction are in the same state of matter, the same phase, that's going to be called homogeneous equilibrium. Everything is the same. But if there are different states of matter in a chemical equation, that's a heterogeneous reaction. And there's a heterogeneous equilibrium that can be written. But here's the thing. Think about this. When you have a gas in a container, and you crunch the container volume and reduce it, you've changed the concentration of that gas. As long as the moles of gas don't escape, you've changed the volume, so you change the concentration. Yeah, that makes sense. And then, how will the K value respond to a change in concentration? Well, we're going to calculate and do things like that. But here's the thing. A solid particle, if you have a solid particle in, in, a, in a reaction flask, and you change the concentration, you change the volume, well, you know what? That solid sitting there is still its same density in grams per cubic centimeter. It hasn't moved and it's not affected by volume changes and stuff. So here's the point. Gases and aqueous chemicals will be put into an equilibrium expression because their, their concentrations can be altered and changed. But liquids and solids, that doesn't happen. Liquids and solids we don't change their concentrations. They stay constant. And so if they stay constant, we have constants and constants, so we get rid of the solids and the liquids in equilibrium expressions. There's an exception to that, and I'll show you that in a second. There's always an exception to something, isn't there? If you wrote the equilibrium expression for this, you go K equals. Now, what is it going to be? We've got gas here, solid here, solid here. The solids just don't change their concentrations. So it's the concentration of the CO2 gas divided by, well, what? Divided by zero? No, you can't do that. That's undefined. So you just leave it and divide it by one. So that's it. The K equals here the concentration of the CO2. It's the K value is entirely dependent on the concentration of CO2 at a particular temperature. Hey, so what would the equilibrium expression for this be? Well, okay. And by the way, I know that this is just for the sake of writing down something that's an example of this, but that's a goofy reaction. Water, gas, and uh, water liquid uh, in equilibrium with its two gases. That's kind of kooky. But here's the point. If somebody said K equals what for this? You'd go, well, that's a liquid. So I ain't going to put that in the expression. So if that's a product, it goes in the numerator and it's 1 over, and then it's the concentration of the H2. And by the way, you've got to balance that right. Eh? So there's a 2 in front there, so that's going to be squared divided by the concentration of the O2. And that would be the, the way to write that form here in the law of mass action. Here's the thing. If you have a reaction that's got, that's got two or more liquids in it, well, let's, let's put it this way. Any reaction that has liquids in it, if there's just one liquid, you can take it right out. But if there's more than one liquid, so we say two or more liquids in a chemical reaction, they actually get included into the equilibrium expression. Uh, sometimes, and you may see this, and there's my, what might be the trick, you might be given x plus y is in equilibrium with z plus w, and you've got four liquids. Well, how do you write the expression here? They all get put into that numerical expression here. This is what happens. So why is that? It's because actually, you know, when you have liquids reacting to make liquids, all of these liquids, if they're all different, they actually have different, well, they have different densities. And if these densities, you might have 50 mils of this and 50 mils of this, and they can mix together, but they only make 90 milliliters of an entire solution in the end. And if there's an equilibrium here that's occurring, you probably don't, ha you have a change in volume. If you have a change in volume in with certain molecules that stay constant in terms of their numbers, you've got a change in concentration. And so therefore you have to put the liquids in the expression only when you have more than one of them. Solids, always out. Liquids, more than one, put them in. Otherwise, and, and by the way, that's just a rarity, right? It's always gases and aqueous. If you see those, put them into the expression.